So this is what we're making today. This is um, barbacoa made with uh, cachetes y labios, which means cheeks. So beef, cheek meat, and lips. I know it sounds funny, but watch and see what happens. So while we're washing up the meat here, we have got some water going right here. This is what we're going to make the, the barbacoa in. Just got it warming up there. So we're putting in the meat. See how it's big old chunky? It's really not, but it, that's how they sell it. It'll fall apart. Anyway, what we want to do is have it fall apart with our fingers anyway, so and you can make it as chunky as you want because you're going to break it down anyway. And this is that beautiful meat. Look how beautiful red that is. It's got some fat in there, gelatin. It's the kind of meat that gets a little sticky. You'll see what I'm talking about. It's great. So at this point, while the water is starting to heat up, we got the meat in there. We're going to start adding a few condiments. We say condiments, spices, seasonings. These are bay leaves. Avocado. And avocado leaves. Some garlic. Preparing it right now, my wife is. Just poking holes in some garlic cloves to flavor. flavor it up. This is another one of those max flavor dishes. I like to call them max flavor dishes. I uh, did one uh, just yesterday. This is going to be another one today. I'm super excited to get to do it twice in the same weekend. Gonna add some salt. Salt to taste. Everybody has a little bit different. We're just gonna put a little bit now. We'll test it again later whenever uh, it's time, or at least gets closer to cooked. So now we got a half an onion, basically a whole half an onion there, and add it to the avocado and bay leaves and salt. As our coffee water started boiling there, I'm going to cover this thing up with a lid. We don't really have a lid to, big enough to fit this pot, so what we do is we turn over our pizza stone. It slides right in there really nice. And that's our lid. So we for that to get boiling really good. So now we're going to clean up a little bit, strain this stuff out. It's a little bit of the fat, a little bit of the... We call it the cochino, but it's not really cochino. It's just part of the meat. Just gonna knock some of that crusty stuff off. You guys tell me what you call that. I don't know what you call that. But we're cleaning it up here. All right, so when we get some of this strained out, look at the stuff we got out of there. We're gonna drop the heat down a little bit and let it simmer for a while, a good long while. All right, so this thing has been on for about three hours? About three hours. Take a look at that. What does it look like? Oh, beautiful. Oh my gosh. All right, all right. It's going to be really nice. Que bonito. Mm -hmm. it smells delicious. You like it? Yeah. This is what I talk about when I'm thinking of uh, barbacoa. All right, so looking at this, super soft. Probably could use a little bit more. Because we had it on super low anyway. So we'll put on there a little bit more time. Look at that. Look at that. Ugh. Beautiful. Tastes like, taste it, baby. Mm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. All right. We're going to keep at it. And we'll let you know what's going on. Hot. Oh my god, yes, very good. Man, y'all, this smells delicious already. That's what it's looking like now. There's some hairy looking parts there. I say hairy, but you know what I'm talking about. Those have got to be pulled through. We're going to take some of that off. There you go, right there. It's a good piece. We'll take that off. You'll see how it ends up, but man, this is looking smelling really good too. Beautiful stuff here. So, this is the cachetes, the, the cheek meat. And this, you can tell, is the lips because of that right there. It's like a lengua. You take that stuff off. You peel it. You'll see. Mmm. Looking good. Smelling good. Now we are making the salsa. I say we. My wife is doing this. Bella. Her favorite. Right? You like roasted? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this one's going to be a green salsa. That's why the tomatillos. No, no green. Red salsa. Oh, it's going to be red? Con yeah. tomatillos? Si. Sí. Okay, okay. See how you peel it. Show me one other one. You got another one? Yeah, look. Ah, that's a weird looking. Nice, nice, nice. Mm. 
garlic added to the tomatillos. And if you notice, we've still got that separated. We're waiting for it to cool off a little bit, and then we're going to mix it all together so we can get some of that uh, fat all mixed together. Looking really good. Washing our vegetables. We got some radishes there, cilantro, onion, lime. See what we're gonna do with that. All right, now we're cutting, cutting up cilantro. Some of the best taco condiments or um, just onions and cilantro, really. Tomatoes if you want, jalapenos diced up if you want to. So anyway, this is one of the things we always do. I like how you cut onions. Why? <laughs> I don't know, because I, I just never did like that. Technique. So they come out perfectly diced already on the other side. Professional. Mm. <laughs> Alright, this is how you peel it. There we go. So, a lot of the pizzas don't have to be peeled, and a lot of the cheek meat does not, but a lot of these do. There we go, that's what it's supposed to look like. It's like doing a lengua. How have you ever done a tongue like that, a beef tongue? It's kind of the same process. There they are. While well, we're doing that, getting those tomatillos roasted up. Alright, now that the fire's off, it's a little bit warm here still, we're going to put these chilies on there. We don't want them on there when it's hot, hot, because they turn bitter on you. So just put them when it's a little warm. Man, look how pretty that looks. Amazing. Look at that. Look at how that's shaping up right there. Looks great. That's how it's supposed to look. It's got to mix it up a little bit, but that's how it looks. We'll get a better shot soon. Oh, beautiful. Man, it smells good still. That's how it's supposed to look. That's amazing. Take a look at it up here on the top. Goodness, it's great. Hope you can get all that. All right, it's time to make the salsa. We're putting everything into our blender. Roast it up, nice and toasty. The chilies are a little toast on them too. That's what it looks like right now. Got a little bit of tomato bouillon. About that much right there. And that'll go on the blender. To um, we're gonna strain it afterwards. Okay, so no straining. We're gonna put some oregano in it. Nice. Salt. Ooh, that's stout. It is stout. Uh, we we'll gave it a little taste a minute ago. It's stout. <laughs> All right. There's a cilantro with uh, onions. There is our salsa that I just made. Really good looking right there. And then of course you have, have to have radishes and you have to have limes. There we go. Ready to eat. Oh, looking good now. About ready to make us some tacos.
Beautiful, oh, man. Look how good that looks. That's amazing. So it tastes.